Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you how to do an actual example, how to actually use or utilize Markov chains. So here we have, for example, a charity, and we're going to look at the charity contributions. And we did a study, and we found out that for those who contribute, 40% will not contribute the next time, so let's say on a yearly basis. And of those who don't contribute, we can get 10% to then contribute the next time. And so the question is, if this goes on for a long time, what will eventually be the stabilization or the stable distribution matrix? What will be the stable state? How many people will contribute and how many people will not contribute to this charity? All right, so first we have to set up the probability matrix. So the probability matrix is going to have two states. Uh, the states is going to be uh, not contributing and contributing, or it doesn't matter which order we put it in, of course. And this will be the from state, and this is the to state. Okay, so if they are not contributing, what is the percentage that will continue to contribute? Well, before we, we do that, let's go, if they're not contributing, what's the percentage that they will contribute? So here we see that it's a 10% change, so we can say that this would be 0.1. So if they're not contributing today, they will 10% of them will contribute in the future, like let's say next year. For those who contribute, what percentage will not contribute next time? So for contributing to not contributing, that one is 40% or 0.4. So those are the two things that were given to us. Now we can fill in the rest of the matrix because we know that the columns have to add up to one. So that means that this needs to be a 0.9 and this needs to be a 0.6. So now we have the probability matrix. And we know to find the final stable um, distribution matrix, we know that when we multiply the probability matrix by the stable matrix, we should get back the stable matrix. And in this case, we're going to let the stable matrix equal the not contributing and the contributing states right there. And that would then be the stable states and we have to find out what those stable N and C states are. So we take our matrix, which is 0 0.9, 0 0.4, 0.1 and 0.6 and we multiply that times the no contributing and contributing states and that should then equal the no contributing contributing states so these will be equal to each other when we reach the stable state all right now we have to all we have to do is multiply this times this is set equal to n this times this set equal to c so end up at 0.9n plus 0.4c equals n and 0.1n plus 0.6c equals c. I'm going to take, oh, and one more thing, of course, we know that n plus c have to add up to 1, so we can write that as well, n plus c have to equal 1. I'm going to take my second equation, because those has lower numbers in it, that's easier to work with, <clears throat> and we're going to solve for one of the variables in terms of the other variable. So we're going to move the 0.6c to the other side, so that it becomes 0.1n, equals c minus 0.6c. Combining the right side, we get 0.1n equals 0.4c. And multiplying both sides by 10, we get n equals 4c. So in the final stable matrix, we know that n will be four times as large as c. We also know that n plus c equal one. So we're going to go ahead and take that and replace the n in this equation by 4c. And if we do that, let me come over here, we can then write the equation in here. So we have instead of n plus c equals 1, we're going to replace the n by the 4c. So 4c plus c equals 1, or 5c equals 1, or c equals 1 fifth. So that's the final state of c. c is the contributing state. And of course, since n plus c equals 1, we then know that n is equal to 1 minus c, or n is equal to 1 minus 1 fifth, or n is equal to 4 fifths. So, on our final state, we can say that the non-contributory will be equal to 4 fifths, and the contributory will be equal to 1 fifth. In other words, 80% of the people will not contribute, and 20% of the people will contribute, and that will be the final state that we will end up in, so this is called the stable distribution matrix. That's what we call it. And this is how we do that.